Hello, Mesa Eagles, and welcome to my Betsy V lifestyle. So today I am at Barnes and Nobles. I've partnered up with them to give you guys some ideas on presents that you can give someone in your life. I have a secret Santa. I have two kids to find something for. Possibly my boyfriend. Maybe my mama and my dada. So we're gonna go take a look and come along with me. Gotta make sure I do it right. Oh, Buddha boards. What's this? You simply paint on the surface with water and your creation will come to life in a bold design. Then as the water slowly evaporates, your art will magically disappear, leaving you with a clean slate and a clear mind. That's cool. Right? Now my daughter is quite the artist, so perhaps something here I might want to get. So well, something like a set with colored pencils, water pencils, sandpaper sharpener, aluminum pencil sharpener, eraser, and Graphite pencils might be a good gift idea for her. Ooh, fancy notebooks. Found some llamas. Book holder for a bookworm. Okay, so this is pretty cool. A book stand holder for your bathtub. Put your glass, your soap, and your favorite book. If you know me, I'm all about my wood signs, so this is really nice for someone's home. A bamboo aroma pen. Write, dab, and breathe. Right, dab, three. Some home decor pieces. So I'm loving this section right here. A Harry Potter section. O M G. Do you guys remember when the series came out? Like they were this long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm really old. Now we are headed to the kids section because I have two kids and my kids love to read and I think it's very, very, very important to give kids books. An illustration of Home Alone. O-M-G. It's Coco! <laughs> Who remembers I Spy Books? Now when you think of Barnes and Nobles, you don't really think about them having toys, but the great thing about them is that, of course, now they also have included toys, but they have educational toys. So, with every toy, you're gonna learn a little song song. Undisclosed files of the police, cases from the archives of the NYPD. Well, that's cool. Now this, that's it's definitely cool. a piece I put on my table. Right? This is what I'm talking about. <gasps> How to be a boss, Lily Singh. I love this section. How they put every eye-catching, last-minute items you might want to get, and you end up getting. Magnetic emoji kit. The bottle string lights, you put that in nice bottles, and it lights up. Mini karaoke microphone. <laughs> So you guys saw some of the things that I was looking into at Barnes & Nobles, but I finally purchased some things and I'm going to show you exactly what I purchased and who it may be for. I ended up getting Buddha, my daughter, an I Spy book. This is the latest edition that came out from what the lady at Barnes & Nobles told me. And as you guys know, it's a picture of hidden objects like a goose in a ship. You have to find a goose in a ship and a, a baby in there. So I think she'll have a lot of fun with that. Sienna has so many books, so I was like, my poor son, Gunner Pat, has like nothing. So I decided to get him two books. Bedtime for Batman. Even though I'm a Superman kind of girl, but they didn't say, they didn't have bedtime for Superman, so. Night Night New York, because we from New York! Did end up getting Buddha a notebook, a llama notebook. They are this brilliant brush washable marker set. It's like painting. You know, the tips are really fine, so she's going to be able to do more details on her artwork. So when I went in there, I'm like, I'm buying gifts for everybody else, nothing for myself, because I always just buy things for myself and then nothing for anybody else. So my mindset was on the right track. <laughs> I was on the right track! 
for a second, you know? This item I didn't even know I wanted until I saw it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want it for myself. Any more keyboard? I'm a huge fan of board games. And so when I saw this in a card form, I was like, I think they would like this. The Game of Things. It says, things that would make a good potato chip flavor. Everyone writes down a response and then you have and then you put it in the pile in the middle and you have to guess who said what. Things get interesting, people get dirty, people get nasty. So you have to think how who would say the nastiest thing right here. But sometimes I would trick them and not write things that are nasty and they would pick somebody else and it's a, it's quite a chuckle. You saw that I was eyeing that Buddha board, so I got my secret Santa, the Buddha board. The mini version. I really kept saying over and over and over, I'm gonna get this for my secret Santa, I'm gonna get this for my secret Santa, I'm gonna get this for my secret Santa. But then, right, I kept falling in love with it and I was like, no, I, I want it for myself, I want it for myself, I want it for myself. Mini karaoke microphone, hello. You guys know I love to sing and I have such an angelic voice. I don't know what to do. I know you want it, I know you want it, it's easy to see. And in the back of your mind, I know you should be on me. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you? Don't you, baby? Don't you? <clears throat> I know. I know. <laughs> All right, Miss Amigos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below as to whether or not you think I should keep everything for myself or if I should be generous and be in the Christmas spirit and give things away to my secret Santa like that microphone. Not the marquee, I'm not giving up the marquee. No, that's mine. But let me know about the microphone. Do you think there's a future for me? Until next time, mis amigos, adios. Mwah.